Hello guys and welcome to the dick uh, dick <laughs> Did I just <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to an unboxing video of the Nikon D3300. Now before I start and getting into the unboxing, I just want to point out that uh, later on uh, there will be a uh, unbox no there will be a setup uh, user's guide etc and then later on there'll be a full review once I've had a bit of time with this awesome beginners DSLR anyway guys obviously soon let's get into the unboxing anyway guys getting into the unboxing now this box is probably one of the nicest boxes I have opened apart from the copper color uh, or the brownish copper color uh, that Nikon have decided to put on the box. I'm not a big fan of it. Look on the underside. We have some little labels saying it's Wi-Fi certified, etc. Uh, stuff like that. On the side, we see the supplied accessories. And then you will notice that there is the words accessory shoe cover. There is, there's no uh, uh, accessory shoe cover in, in there. Uh, on the back, it's reasonably the same as the front, except a slightly different body image. And onto the top, we see uh, a big larger scale image of the body and the lens. Now to open up the box you have this tab at the front and then when you do eventually open up the box which I struggled with on the two flaps on the side there is some little uh, accessories that you uh, Nikon sort of prompt you to say you know recommended etc stuff like that. Now in this box um, I pulled out two boxes. Now one is, is the 18-55mm uh, non-VR lens, and the other one is the d 3300s body itself. Now, we're going to start with the lens itself, and it's actually a quite nice lens it is. It's actually a, a really good uh, lens. The box just being a normal brown, horrible coloured box. So, yeah. Um, anyway, to start, uh, we open up and uh, we get greeted with thousands of... Uh, of uh, uh, different language user manuals for a lens, which is, you know, it's cool. Uh, then we open up a little flap and we get the lens itself nicely packaged with a, a little um, lens cover, etc. Stuff like that. I quite like this. The thing that I don't get is that it wasn't uh, wrapped in bubble wrap compared to which the body is, as we'll see later on. Now, this lens is a sort of uh, compressed design. Um, so, yeah, and it's a much compact, um, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, a thing that I am disappointed though is that there's no autofocus and a manual focus switch Which I quite would have liked uh, to see uh, Instead you have to actually do it in the camera itself. Here's the d 3300s body uh, Box you can see the supplied accessories on there notice that there's no uh, shoe cover accessory in there uh, now we open up the top and we're greeted oh my god with more manuals yes luckily this time we get uh, given a, a user's manual uh, and a warranty uh, and uh, Nikon's software uh, so uh, to pull out the box first we see the Nikon strap uh, which is actually a nice strap by the way we get our uh, US uh, battery charger but wait it will turn into UK in a minute um, we then get our USB for transferring photos from the actual uh, camera itself and uh, transferring them onto your PC. Then we get our AV or component cable um, for putting uh, for displaying images on your TV. We get our lithium uh, ion battery as well. Uh, then we bring out the UK uh, plug adapter that Nikon have supplied. Thank you, Nikon. So um, yeah, uh, and then to uh, then we have to pull out the actual body itself. Now the body's wrapped in pla in a uh, bubble wrap, and then in another bit of uh, plastic. So um, yeah. Um, anyway, so to start, uh, as I pull it out, uh, there it is. It's actually really nice, and it's my first time actually holding on to a DSLR. So I'm quite impressed to be honest. Um, so yeah, we, again we can see the actual lens cap uh, on there. Uh, so yeah, uh, which is cool. On the right hand side we have the remote and a 3.5mm uh, microphone jack. As well as that we have the uh, AV uh, or USB. Uh, and as well as that we have a micro HDMI. On the back we see our little LCD display with all our buttons etc. Uh, so yeah, uh, inside we have the uh, SD card slot. So um, yeah, uh, as well as that we have the battery uh, holder on the back. Now to put the lens on, we screw the lens cap off 
and then what we'll do we'll put the body aside and then we'll get the bottom protector of the lens and then what we'll do we'll find the white uh, circles uh, all the little dots and line them up and then twist it towards yourself if you're in a position that I am. So uh, as I will say uh, there will be a full review coming on it soon uh, and um, yeah really I'm really impressed with this camera the unboxing experience was really great. Uh, a thing that I would suggest you know having the switches on there for manual and autofocus but when the lens is actually extended out I'm not a big fan of how thin the actual uh, lens tube is basically. Uh, it sort of looks a bit like compact camera-ish but uh, other than that I'm really impressed. I have taken a few photos so far of it and if you want to go and see them they're on Flickr. Uh, have a look down in the description down below. So um, yeah, a really great beginner's camera. I can't wait to see what I can do. 1080p 60fps recording I can do on there so I'm going to have a lot of fun with that as well as a lot of great photography as well hopefully. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll be seeing you soon. Stay tuned for the review and um, yeah, anyway guys, I'll be seeing you soon. Have a wonderful rest of the day and yes, bye bye.